Have you ever seen this movie? It's called The Happy Movie. Anybody seen it? Raise your hand. It's a documentary. So write these numbers down. 50%, 50, 50, 50% of your ability to be happy in your brain, to be happy with yourself, that one part that we struggle with, other than money, ourself, 50% of it is genetic. So you thank your parents. If you're a happy person, call your parents. If you're depressed, thank your parents. It's not a joke. 50%. Now, here's the good news. Here's, what's keep, here's, here's what keeps me in business. 40% is personal choice. Every day when you wake up. Now, be honest. Is there anybody in this room, and there's usually a few, when you wake up, like as soon as the alarm hits, or your alarm clock goes off, you have a morning ritual, because there's some people that do this, and I encourage it. The first thing that you do when you wake up is either you say a prayer, you, you acknowledge gratitude, you think about what's great, you focus on what you're happy about right when you wake up. Anybody? Raise your hand. Good. It's usually a small percent. It's about 10% of people. Most people don't wake up when the alarm goes off. Think about it. It's Monday. Six o'clock in the morning, alarm goes off. What do you most of you say? Oh, God. Monday. How many people watch the news first thing in the morning? Raise your hand. Go ahead, raise them high. Why do you watch the news first thing in the morning? There's no good news. There's no good news. I just did it for today for fun, just to prove what I thought. So I turned on WGN, watched for 10 minutes, went to CNN, went to HLN, went to Fox for 15 minutes. I didn't hear one good, positive story this morning. Not one. Tornadoes are going to hit, one-year anniversary in Texas, right? Bullying again, murder. Arizona is going to maybe have wildfires. They're coming from Southern California. 12,000 acres are burned in San Diego where I used to live. No, nothing positive. But we watch the news every morning. How come? doesn't make any sense. So you're already pre-framing your day as to how it's going to go because you're going to focus on what's negative. That's what we feed our brain. Maybe you've heard this quote before. Take the five people that you hang around the most, like literally, if you put a time graph of the five people that you hang around the most, and we look at their character, you're the mean of the five, meaning you're right in the middle. Right? Just think about it. Culture. The base word of culture is what? Cult. You all are part of a cult. It's called UBA. Common language, common belief, common direction. You have companies that, you're, that, you're, that you lead. You're trying to build a culture, right? Your family is a culture, right? So when you stop and think about, well, what are you focusing on? What are you putting attention to? You have a choice. 40% is choice. Now, 10%, that's 50, 40, and then the last percent is 10. 10 is your overall called general life experience, which is are you educated or not? Are you married or not? Do you have kids or not? Where do you live? So just think about like the environmental things and the things that you are. So 50, 40, 10. Now 10, you can influence that still. You could go back to college if you wanted to or get a degree or have more kids or go get married and influence that 10%. But that 50% is already set. The 40% is choice. So when we talk today about belief systems, this is not Pollyanna. This is a science to this.